that you and I should get acquainted. I've grown accustomed to this place. What? Caesar? Cut, print. Magnificent picnic. Wonderful picnic. Magnificent. I'll never direct a better actor. And to think they wanted to put that Welshman in the part. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was still near water, sitting by our beautiful Hollywood pool, alone. I'd done it again, and I'd lost Pinky. Lost him to fame, fortune, his agents, publicity men, secretaries, and his adoring fans. How about my preview in Westwood last night, huh? <laughs> what a gas. Sure, it's Pinky. All those Pinky Benson fans screaming, yelling, crying. Ah, oh, the little people. I love them. I love them. And if the studio tries to cut one minute of that film, I'm going to burn that nut house to the ground. Five and a half hours is not too long for a Pinky Benson fan. Yes, Mr. Benson. Now, about the premiere. Everybody in the ball, see? Hi, Louisa. Hi, Pinky. Going in for a dip? No, I'm going to Brown Derby. I got a business luncheon with these creeps. <laughs> Ciao, baby. Ain't you going to change? What for? You know you can't get in a derby without a tie on. Jeez. And, Pinky, after lunch, you got to tape a speech to send to Jersey City. Yeah, you told me. What's it for? Pinky Benson Day. Big ceremony in your honor. Citizens are getting together to paint the front of the house you were born in in pink. Yeah? Gee, that's kind of sweet. I wonder who thought of that. I did. Yeah? Well, here's an idea from me. What's the matter with this place? The fans and the buses go by here every afternoon. Let's let them know without a doubt which house is Pinky's house. Myself. This picture is a cinch to do 50 million at the box office. Yeah, too bad I only get half of that. Yeah. And the studio wants you to co star with Frank, Marlon, and Carrie in a remake of The Four Horsemen. Well, why should I carry those dead weights? I'll play all four. Well, Come on, Pinky, let's it. get out of here. The mountain. Come on. Break it up, Mike. Break it up. All right. Get down, get down. Now, thanks to our cameras, the co star. Miss Linda 
funny. Another Piggy Benson discovery. Making new discoveries is the basis of our industry. And now, coming to our microphones, here she is, Mrs. Piggy Benson. My wife has always been my inspiration. Piggy will never get out the front way. Why don't you just slip out the side way, darling? Yes, I guess so, but I, I hate to do this to them. After all, I'm what they came to see. Yeah, yeah, I we know, know. Baby, Come on. So let's this go, way. Piggy. Break it up on That's me. all. Listen, I can't let them down. After all, I'm the stuff their dreams are made of. I belong to them. Hey, Bullet! Bullet! Look who's here! It's me! It's your Pinky! Look, it's Pinky! was right. He did belong to his fans. Forever. He was such a sweet man when I met him. And then came... Well, that's all. Why, isn't that enough? <laughs> oh, I was left with another $30 million, and I flew right here to Washington, and that brings us up to date. <laughs> <laughs>